Most of my viewers are familiar with soaring string octaves, usually in big tutti passages. But what if you don't want them to soar, instead you want them to glow? In the second movement of his fourth symphony, Tchaikovsky trends the scoring of this passage toward the middle strings of each instrument, mostly avoiding the brighter E and A strings. The dynamic is a warm but restrained mezzo forte, playing over a five-flat key signature with a more veiled, less spontaneously vibrant color. Then he uses the melodic arc to naturally underscore the emotion, reaching upward to a hopeful G-flat major, or settling downward to a more tragic E-flat minor. The winds and the horns add the glow by filling in the harmony between the octaves. <laughs> 